This is Martin Brossman, and today we want to talk about putting a tracking pixel on your website from your Facebook advertising panel uh, so that if someone comes to your website and they're then go to their Facebook page, Facebook will go, I know this person, and they'll add it to a private list, which then you can advertise to over a period of time. So first, I need to mention when you come to facebook.com forward slash ads, signed in as an individual connected to your business page, your first page may look different than this page. So just know this in advance. What you want to do is get into login to manage existing ads. When you get to a page that looks like this, this is the place you want to be and look for audiences. See that right there? Audiences audiences. Click audiences and it brings you to another page. Uh, reach the people that matter to you. And we have a custom audience which is what we want to build. We can create a look-alike audience which is uh, an audience built off of an audience we already have or a, a saved target group that we're going for. So today we're working on building a custom audience. So click Create Custom Audience, then under that we've got Custom List, Web Traffic, and App. I'm not really going to cover App, that's to me more advanced than many small businesses are working with. Uh, customer List is where you would upload an email list that you have, and we talked about that in class. And then Website Traffic, that's what we're focusing on today. So when I click Website Traffic, now, it's going to offer you a custom audience pixel code. Normally, you would show up without that little error sign and invite you to get the code. So, this is the code you're going to get your webmaster to put on the website. Or, if you know how to put something between head and forward slash head, you'll do it. Or, if it's a WordPress site uh, and you know how to do it, this might be helpful. Some themes on WordPress make this easy and then there are also plugins you can add. So just know this is the code we need to get in the right place over on the website so that when people load the website it uh, Facebook can track them and build a list for them that we can then advertise to. So I'm gonna grab this code by Control C or, or Command C on a Mac and then we're going to go ahead and click create an audience. So I've got the code saved and we have several options here. Anyone who visits the website, that means anybody, anyone who visits some specific page on the website, anyone visits a specific page but not others. So this would be a very specific like landing page they came to so you really want to know if they came here I want to keep track of them and then uh, people who haven't visited in a certain amount of time and some type of combination. So at the beginning level with one Facebook business page and one website, we'll start with anyone who visits your website. Then how long will it last? The number of days people, people remain in the list. So that means if someone goes to your website and then they are added to this list on Facebook, Right now, it will stay in that list for 30 days and then drop out. So for beginners, I would pick 180 days. See, 180 days gives you a little more time. Uh, we want to give it a name. So then add a description. So this, this is to help you remember what this is. Then we want to click Create an Audience. So thank you for creating a custom audience. So now we have it, Prospect. And, and here's the thing to look at. You see how it says not ready, pixel not installed? That's the indicator that, that when that changes and says not enough people, then you know the basic pixel was installed. So that's what you want to look for to verify that this audience is being built. And then in the ad area, you'll be able to have an ad you create that uh, pulls in this list and you'll be able to narrow down from the list. This completes this video 
of getting the basic code and setting it up. Look forward to hearing your comments below and remember you will be taking that code that is on a notepad or something else and having it installed on the website.